Today we're going to talk about fraction number lines. When you're doing a fraction number line, you have to have a numerator and a denominator. You get your numerator by counting over to the point. You get your denominator by counting to the one. So let's try this out. A is one mark over. So my numerator is a one. My denominator is going to be how many marks it takes me to land on that one. So one, two, three, four. Our line is cut up into four parts. Our fraction for A is one fourth. B. B is located at one, two, two marks over out of one, two, three, four. So B is located at two fours. For point C, point C is located one, two, three marks past my zero, but there are one, two, three, four marks in the whole line. So my fraction for C is three fours. Notice how the denominator stays the same the whole way through. The denominator doesn't change. Your numerator is what's going to change. All right, let's look like store and try to find the fractions for this one as well. Point D is 1, 2 marks over. But there are one, two, three, four, five marks in the whole number line. So my fraction for D is two fifths. Let's see if you can do E and F yourself. Pause the video to see if you can get those correct. Point E is located one, two, three marks past our zero and they are one, two, three, four, five marks in all so E is located at three fifths. Point F is one, two, three, four marks past zero but there are one, two, three, four, five marks in all or pieces in all so our fraction for F is four fifths. Now, we need to talk about mixed number number lines. Notice when the, you look at these number lines, they don't begin with a zero. This one doesn't. And it's not ending with a one. I see a whole lot of different numbers here. And I see a lot of little marks in between. Each number you see is your whole number, your big number. But we still have to count on this line to find our mixed number. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the number before our point. Our point here is point X. The number before X is a 5. So I'm going to write a big 5. Next, we're going to count how many lines pass the five? So this is five here. One, two, three. My numerator is a three. Then we're going to count the number of spaces from our five until we land on the next number six. So one, two, three, four, five. Our mixed number is five and three fifths. Five and three fifths. Let's try another mixed number number line. Notice point X is located in between my two and my three. When I'm looking at my number line, I see the last number before my X is a two. So my whole number is going to be a two. Next, I'm going to count how many lines pass the two. One, two. 
For my denominator, I will count how many lines until I land on the next number. So, one, two, three. My mixed number for point X is two and two thirds. And lastly, we have another mixed number, number line. What is the last number you see before you get to the X? If you said three, you're right. Now, I need for you to come up with a fraction for this point. So we're going to count over. One, two, three. My numerator is a three. Now we're going to count from the three until the four. We have to find out how many marks in between. So one, two, three, four. My denominator is a four. So our mixed number for this number line is three and three fourths.